In a stunning development on Sunday, Boeing agreed to plead guilty to criminal fraud related to two deadly crashes back in 2018 and 2019. Nearly 350 people lost their lives in those accidents, but some are skeptical, and it comes as the aviation giant remains under increased scrutiny. We've seen the victims' families outside Congress protesting Boeing and demanding accountability. Those emotions have never been stronger. Livid. They're, they're furious. I mean, they're so disappointed. Ed Pearson is a former Boeing manager, now turned whistleblower, who we first met last spring. He regularly talks to families whose loved ones died on both the Lion Air and Ethiopian flights five plus years ago as part of his advocacy work through the Foundation for Aviation Safety. News of a last-minute plea deal this week in which Boeing will pay a $243 million fine, invest $455 million in safety, and allow an outside independent monitor isn't sitting well. People have called it a sweetheart deal. I call it a pathetic deal. I mean, it's the families just want justice. I mean, what they're asking for is very reasonable. They just want uh, an investigation into what happened. They want to know the truth of who knew what and when. The deal, if approved by a judge, won't hold any current or former Boeing execs criminally liable for the deadly crashes on Boeing 737 MAXs. But the giant manufacturer remains under heavy scrutiny, especially after that Portland-based Alaska flight saw a mid-air door plug blowout in January. These are clear warning bells that the quality of the airplanes are not sound and that the rush to produce, we're starting to see, you know, the ramifications of that terrible, you know, logic. Our culture is far from perfect. But we are taking action and we are making progress. Last month, the company's CEO went before Congress to stress changes are already underway. How or if that progress truly shakes out could define the future of one of the Pacific Northwest's most prominent businesses.